I saw someone on Twitter say, if you are a feature artist, stick to the topic of what the song is about. And that is probably the realest thing I've ever heard in my life. Do you know how sickening it is to hear the most beautiful song you've ever heard? The main artist has like a story or a message or something and the feature artist comes in and talks about what they had for breakfast? It makes me sick! I'm not asking for like the best verse of your entire career. I'm just asking for you to color inside of the lines. Yeah, stick to the topic, buddy. You're ruining the song. If you're seeing this, it's because you're unhinged just like me. So together we're gonna scream on three. One. And if that frightened you, you don't stay ready. You need to get ready. You should stay ready so you don't have to get ready. I'm trying to tell you, Nick. mutual friend in common um what's her name oh kelly you know kelly love her what i miss you won't believe it she knows kelly we love kelly how, how did you come across kelly because we we come across her a couple times a rare right? gem a gem of a woman what do you think about kelly we're not ones to gossip but if you were in possession of pertinent information i would say that you're lying with shit she is in my prayer journal we're wishing her the best Oh, she was definitely great. What am I sensing here? Am I sensing something? I just haven't had the best experiences with her. Tell us how I'm fine, It's just good journalism, you will. You'll share, we'll share. It'll be a mutual sharing of information about someone we both deeply respect and love. I love her as my own child, as one would have been. But here's what I know about Kelly. So what is your name as a group? The Click. Okay. Click or Click. Click. Let's do it. What black celebrities do you think embody alternative lifestyles? I feel like there are very obvious answers I could give to that, but they are all light-skinned, skinny women. Take your pick. Take your fucking pick. And I'm not hating on any of these women. I love these women. I love their work. I love their art. But I do not see anyone that looks like me that I can think of. And I would like to see more women that look like me. I would like to see more femmes, more queer people, more representation in the alt community, more openness in the alt community, more room for fat people and not in a performative way. What about the worst types of hair? And if you have any of these hair types, you're cooked. If you got 4C hair, you might as well go bald. Texturism is the idea that the closer your hair is to white people's hair, the better. This concept has led to a long global history of black hair being demonized and politicized. It started in the early 1900s when a Nazi named Eugen Fischer created a categorization system to determine people's proximity to whiteness based on hair color and texture. He used this system in what is present day Namibia to justify the genocide of 80,000 black people, of course, with darker, coarser hair. The pencil test was used in South Africa during the apartheid regime. They'd put a pencil in your hair and if it fell to the floor, you passed and were deemed white. If the pencil stayed in your hair, you failed and were deemed colored or black. The racial classifications then determined your treatment within South Africa in everyday life. Then in the US, in the 1990s, Oprah Winfrey stylist Andre Walker introduced the hair typing system commonly used today, categorizing hair into four types, straight, wavy, curly, and coily, and assigning them numbers one through four. While the categorizations alone could be helpful in determining hair care techniques, because of this persistent idea that straight hair is closer to whiteness and therefore better, black people with 4C hair often face increased discrimination. Studies show hair-based racial discrimination disproportionately impacts black women's opportunities for employment, professional advancement. It's associated with a variety of mental health outcomes. It impacts children through bullying and racist school policies. So reinforcing these stereotypes is harmful to black people socially, emotionally, and economically. <laughs> So y'all remember when Hiss came out at the beginning of the year and Meg said, I can never be judged by a bitch that was dancing making R. Kelly go viral. And y'all was all on here, who, who's she talking about? Who's dancing? Who's making R. Kelly go viral? I'm going to hold your hand with a napkin in between when I say this. She was talking about y'all. <laughs> Is this in the closet audio that's going viral right now? Have y'all lost y'all fucking mind? Y'all using this sound is fucking crazy to me. 
Y'all are making R. Kelly go viral. Hello? Mind you, there's an entire slur in that sound and y'all are just saying it willy-nilly. Like, what the fuck? The shit that y'all are sharing while using this sound? You could not waterboard. Huck from Scandal could not torture this information out of me. Y'all need journals and also a fucking therapist. I'm not understanding. There's so much wrong with this audio. The fact that it's R. Kelly, the fact that there is a slur, the fact that y'all are sharing bring back journals bring back shame bring it bring it all back and y'all were really like who's who's making r kelly go viral y'all are delusional it's giving j-lo not everything needs to be done guys just because you see other people doing it does not mean that you need to do it too okay let's let's put our thinking caps on right let's let's use our brain peace and love talk to you later you ain't no fuck with no boss, bitch. I turned you out. You won't catch me in no sharp boots. I burned them out. Bitch, you gotta wait till they birthday to go out of town. Brokey. Yeah, I talk a lot of shit. He like who you think you is. Nigga, not your bitch. Brokey. Nigga, not your hoe. No. Think he got one up on me, whole time this shit like three and old twin. Y'all go, oh wow, she is so pretty. I love black women. That's not, that's not, that's, um, okay. I was gonna tell y'all to talk to me nice because I got my lips, well, both set of lips and my eyebrows waxed. Wow, that woman was, she was so pretty. I make music for the little kids with two parents in their household who love them very much and make them say affirmations in the mirror every morning. Enjoy it while you can. Divorce rate 50%. Flip a coin and hope you don't double up on Christmases. I am important, I am revitalized I deserve the items I'm giving to those I idolize I can see my purpose no matter I am from idle eyes I can see the nobody, I am seated and I am a thrive I am not a victim of time, I get a hour's worth I decide the meaning the minutes, I hold the power first I reject the heart of a coward, bury my doubt in dirt And drown until it bloom and mimic the way a flower works I look good, I feel better, I deserve it I did good with no effort, what is nervous? I done put the work in, double blessings, I earned it And fuck whoever talking, them bad bridges, I burn them Ducking opportunists and Murky water, I swerve them Cause when they start to drown They're cleaning you on the surface I can see the truth I trust in my discernment I'm good where I'm at I never tried to be perfect TLC I just need a little bit of TLC Why, why, Ooh. why Pose for me, baby Natalie Nunn no. hey. Baddies Pose for me Ass fat, slim, thick, no tummy I'm too bad and I'm getting mo- Hey, you got a text from Semen Gang? Oh yeah, that's the group chat. Can you read it to me? Okay, Rainbow Diddle said who's driving tonight to which come in. Oh yeah, that's Danny. Replied, I can fit five people in my car if two people sit on each other's lap. Caesar said, me please. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm not repeating that. Um, <laughs> Straight Max said, I volunteer. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> Gay Max replied, pause. Okay, so who are Caesar and Max going to sit on? Because it's not going to be me. Bouncy, Booty, Udi, Chief. And Arthur said they can sit on top of that. Okay, okay who's Arthur? <laughs> oh yeah, that's Arthur. He's new. Okay, and whoever Rainbow Diddles is just sent a picture of himself on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, that's Victor. The law student victor somebody's future lawyer is saved as rainbow diddles in your phone yeah can you text back and say i can fit three people in my car okay <laughs> they're replying with slurs yeah nobody nobody's saying who's going with who this has been the most unproductive conversation i've ever read what was the what was the point of this yeah we'll probably just figure it out when we get there get where that's a problem nobody saw okay the n-word like literally the n-word like the n-word spelled out texted you separately and said you ready for tonight then sent a picture of a buff bald white man who appears to be like a, a like a doctor or a nurse like you have a friend who's a doctor yeah he, he's something like that y'all yeah, gotta throw it back no man you gotta throw it back bro Oh my god, throw it back! Throw the damn fish back! Being single is crazy. Why'd I just pick, play guitar for five hours? And I, that's not an innuendo, I'm not joking. Like, I, I wasn't finoodling my puni, but um, I was genuinely playing guitar for five hours straight. If I had a girlfriend, I would not be doing that. I would be with my girlfriend, you know? Yo, you already know we outside today. Yo, whoa! Whoa, someone stole my do-rag, bro. My do-rag, where did he go, bro? Dang, Flabbit.
gosh darn it my do rag bro said goodbye whispering that we would be returning when autumn came again now autumn rolls the hills once more Here am I alone with only memories, only lonely memories, autumn memories of you. Who should play Britney Spears in the new Britney biopic? First thing that came to mind was Adele. You want Adele to play Britney Spears in the biopic? I think it would create a lot of controversy, and I'm here to have fun. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ananaya, this is Gaydar. Today we're gonna find out if you're straight, gay, or a homophobe. What is your name and what are your pronouns? My name is Eric, he, him. Okay, that's fine. What's the gayest song that came out this year? Good Luck Babe, Chapel Rowan. I do like Good Luck Babe, but I do think there's something gayer out there, something more nefarious. Yeah, espresso uh, dips into the queerness of being a barista. Clock that, T for T, I know that's right. <laughs> name a drag queen other than RuPaul. Julie J, I love Oh my her. God, I love Julie J! <laughs> I feel like this episode is just us queening out. <laughs> like, which of the following policies does Project 2025 advocate for? Denying existence of trans people, cut federal funding for gender affirming care, protecting adoption and foster care services that would refuse to work with queer couples. All of the above? It's all of the yeah. above. Sorry, babe, I'm in a really dark place right now, and it's America. Name a bisexual man. My friend Steven. Steven. Okay. Everyone give it up for Steven. <laughs> I like that about you, Eric. You know, you keep it in the community. I know a bisexual man. Okay, well, there's Freddie Mercury. <laughs> I feel like I could make a case for Bruno Mars, but we right. know. We don't have time for that on this episode. What is a polycule? A whole group of people who are dating each other. I like that. Layman's terms. Okay. Are you polyamorous? I'm in an open relationship right now. Oh, cool. So maybe. I don't know. Period. Yeah, you're gay. Yes. I think you're a diva. Yes. Yes. Diva sexual. Let's get into inclusive sexual health education and why it's so important. Inclusive education means recognizing and respecting LGBTQ plus communities. Sexual health isn't one size fits all, so we need to ensure that everyone, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity, feels represented and included in the conversation. That means talking about safe practices, relationships, and experiences that apply to everyone, not just a few. It's also about acknowledging diverse cultural practices. Different communities have unique values and traditions when it comes to sexuality and health. Inclusive education takes these differences into account, creating a space where teens feel understood and respected. Also, we need to address gender identities and expressions. Gender isn't binary and sexual health education should reflect that by covering topics relevant to all gender identities, from cisgender to non-binary to transgender individuals. When we include everyone, we build a safer, more supportive world for all of us. Moving as a 20-something is probably the worst thing you can experience. And finally this year, I have help from Roadway Moving. I'm so excited. I have moved in and out of storage units maybe six times. I've moved from Boston to Chicago, from Chicago to New York, and I've done that all myself. And in the spirit of self-healing and growth, I think it's time that I accept that I need help with things. And this experience was so perfect, just perfect. I got a call in the morning saying that they would be 30 minutes late. They showed up 15 minutes early. They handled all my furniture, all my belongings, and all my drag so carefully, and honestly, maybe too carefully because there's enough shipping tape in my apartment to make a shower curtain. Anyway, and honestly, I probably got some of the best people working at Roadway Moving because we had so much fun. I went from this to this, and I am so excited to live in my new place. Let me know if you want an apartment tour. If you've been the, the funny, funny one and you've always gotten the comment, how do you have so much energy? How are you always like on? How are you always so happy? Consider that the reason you don't feel that internally is because you never turn that energy inward. <laughs> but you're scared that if you start now, you'll lose your value because you won't make other people happy all the time anymore. Ooh. Catch it. Do you think white people would be having the time of their lives right now if karma manifestation actually existed? They are the demographic with the world's biggest karmic debt.
Every single minute of the day for a white country to function, it relies on suffering to some extent of someone in the global south. They've engineered it to be that way. For example, schools, hospitals, workplaces in white countries need technology to function on the daily. They get the minerals to help that technology from child slaves in Congo. Even if you want to avoid being part of the problem, a white society functions to the point where you can't escape being part of the issue. They are that heavily reliant on the suffering of the global south. And yet many of them live happy, vibrant lives. They're not suffering. Queen Elizabeth died in her 90s. She died of old age. And if anyone's built karmic debt, it is the British royal family. And it's interesting that manifestation only works to give you your job, to get you that new car. But despite every single day people pleading, absolutely pleading for the liberation of places like Congo, Palestine, for black and brown people around the world, the universe never wants to intervene. It never wants to answer those calls. But the universe loves you so much that it decided that you needed that new job more than they needed their freedom. Okay. And it's the same mentality that a lot of religious people have, that they're just that special, that a higher power has chosen them. You know somebody I want to meet? Hmm? I want to meet Lowe. Mm -hmm. I've never met him. I don't think I've ever talked to him either. You never talked to Lowe? Mm -hmm. Lowe's in a loop. In a loof. Look, I mean, he's just, he's here, he's gone, he's there, he's not. He's everything at once, nothing at the same time. Understood. <laughs> Lowe's like God, nigga. He's just, he's just in the air. This is me, Jesus. Today we are at Tractor Supply. Now something tells me you're trying to be a little funny, but I love a good laugh. Y'all, can y'all see that? Hold on. Okay, Tractor Supply. Let's start with the moral. Okay. Why don't they go all the way over the booty? Now this says no gap fit. I have a cow to milk. Now these are a 2X, but they looked a little stretchy. Keyword looked. Oh, sucky, sucky now. Do the chickens need pickings? <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Is this the farmer and the Dell? The farmer and the Dell? Let me get out these people fitting room. <laughs> Wait, y'all, I feel like I cannot leave here without trying on a pair of boots. Is that leopard? Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Oh, oh my gosh, these are so cute. Now I'm definitely a little nervous about these because I don't know if they're wide calf friendly. Y'all, oh my gosh. Y'all, there is literally so much room in here. What the hell? Yeehaw! DJ Khaled, we the best music, major key. This is about to be the whole song. No, no, it's about to start. I feel like you're lying, DJ Khaled. I promise it is, just give me All a right. couple more seconds. Another one. So I went and made another Yeah, again, this is just you talking. I need the next thing I hear to be the people singing the song you brought them on to sing, or I'm turning this shit off. I got you. Here we go. Okay. When you looking at DJ Khaled. Okay, okay. I feel like you're not even being respectful with my They don't right want now, me to say you don't my even... What the fuck is going on with the sky? Why does it look like that? I just a baby. But you still had to say, okay, mom. I just a baby. Everyone hurry up, we are going to be late. We're ready. We are going We're waiting on you. to be late. You guys better not make us late. We're literally all ready. You guys- Why aren't you in the car? I'm ready, oh, I've, you I've been late. ready this whole time. We're just, late, okay. shut up. No, no, it's all God, yeah, no, you're right. late. No, you're right, you're right. Black women don't owe you natural hairstyles. We actually don't owe you anything. But natural hairstyles, first and foremost, we do not owe you. Oh, uh, let me be clear. Clearly I have hair. Yes, we see this hair up the wazoo. I am not stepping out the house thinking about how you want to see my hair. Sorry. I don't care how much you want to see it. I don't want lemonade braids. You want to see me in braids that bad? Find me a braider in Orange County. That will do it for under $100 and then pay for it. 
You want to see my natural curls? Go and buy those $40 products that everyone jacked up the prices for. Huh. You want to see me in a relaxer? No. But you get the point. Don't speak on my hair if you're not paying for it. Ta-da. So I went to the barber the other day so I can get a lineup and a taper in the back. And he didn't really even know, like, this is so I could wear more wigs, especially without my kitchen showing. Like, it was a gender-affirming care haircut. Anyway, I get there. He's like, yo, what's up, man? And you have to realize, like, I'm in this really fun part of my transition where I can do both, especially when it's time to. So I was like, oh, we're doing this. Okay, fine. If I need to be butch queen, I need to be butch queen. Like, let's get in the drag. He starts cutting my hair. He's like, this is my life. I'm telling him about, you know, the character I make up when it's time for me to do so with these situations. Like, you know, like Ubers, bartenders, barbers. You know, I'm telling him about Ananiah from the multiverse. That's what I'm doing. He gets to my temples. He's like, yo, why is there glue in my trimmer? I'm like, not you trying to clock me in front of everyone. So I clock him back. I'm like, why did you cheat on your wife? And I, I, I shouldn't have done that, you know what I mean? Like, I, I should have just been, you know, like, ha ha. Because he just didn't know that 16 hours ago there was a very beautiful woman occupying this real estate. It's just like, maybe I should think before I speak. Okay, no hate. No hate. Those regulars are actually so fucking ugly. No, and it's not even the way they look. It's the way they act. And okay, like, oh, okay, not to gossip. Not to gossip. But I found out both of them have girlfriends and they always just come in here to flirt with Grace. Mm, and okay, not to be anti-feminist. Never to be anti-feminist, but you know she said that. Devours it and not to be messy. You see me playing soccer, bitch? Never to be messy. But Literally, the whole reason I didn't want to go on the Vegas trip because she was like, oh, you can bring Terrence. I told her I have a boyfriend. I never told her his name. So it was like the fact- Why does she know the, that? That she even knows that. Okay, and like not to keep adding on. Not to keep adding on. But when Sydney's boyfriend had came in last week, she like held his face while she hugged him and then started talking in that baby voice. The way that drives me insane. And in the nicest way possible. With all the kindness in the world. If that was my boyfriend, I'd have dragged her out this restaurant by her fucking hair, which is beautiful by the way. Luscious locks, her hair is so gorgeous. But okay, not to spread rumors. But I heard. Go ahead, Amber. You just, just heard. Just heard. Her current boyfriend is her sister's most recent ex. No, that's actually disgusting. If it's true. If. 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 <laughs> The Xindo Fork has made it out of the house once again. Not only do we have one unsuspecting victim, but we have two, three, four, five. The Xindo Fork goes in for a subtle beside attack, but no, it was seen. It was shooed away by its op, the knife. The Xindo Fork now has to assert its dominance. Slowly but surely, the Xindo Fork goes in for a piece of bread. My mother is irritated and shoes Xindo Fork away but the butter tastes too good to not go in again. The second attempt, the extendo fork succeeded. <laughs> Our waiter, Lawrence, was highly confused by my shenanigans, but the party must go on. My food looked good, but everybody else's food looked better. So now comes the most challenging decision. Whose plate are we taking from first? We were seduced by this plate, very seduced, but we decided to go in for my sister's crawfish first Mission accomplished. I decided it was risky going in for another attack with my mom, but I did it. I went, got a shrimp. She took it back. She stole it. She disrespected the extendo fork, but that's okay, cause I got another one and she didn't take this one and I ate it. <laughs> with dominance asserted, she could no longer deny the extendo fork. Three successful steals from one plate. <laughs> Fluff decided she wanted to have the extendo fork experience. Did she like it? Did she not like it? Let's see. She approves. In the room, I make him drink what's in the lighter. If he don't die on sidewalk to the back, then grab the spiders. See one on his tongue, one on his eye, he better not fight it. He got lighter fluid in his body, made him a walk of fire. Well, Drop your wins from the past week in the comments. This week, I'll say my win is that after the hurricane or the storm, that everybody I know is safe. A few people had some property damage, but nobody I know was hurt. Everybody's safe, so property can be replaced. Ain't nobody tripping about that. Outside of what I got going on, I hope you and everybody you care about is safe after the hurricane. I'm finna hit this gym up. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll catch y'all next week. Small win Sunday. Cash. Y'all, this is my bitch, Scotty. And I'm from the South. She runs the South.
place pizza directly on oven rack. This is my impression of six seeing seven walk in the room. It's crazy. I... Oh my god. I, I have to leave. I have to leave. I can't. I can't. I can't. I have to go. No, you heard what happened to nine. Like, I can't. I, 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 I you guys. No, I know that we're all numbers, but it, it just, it goes further than just that. It's like seven eight nine seven eight nine seven eight nine are you guys just like not afraid right now i'm i'm like i'm like shaking i'm like no 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 i'm i'm leaving i'm leaving hey seven <laughs> you okay are you hungry <laughs>